ladies and gentlemen, this device right here is going to revolutionize the world. It is a hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen micro torch. And you can make these bigger. This is a very small one because, um, you know, it takes a lot of work to make these cells so they'll put out enough gas to generate one of these. It has to be HHO. And you can do some incredible things with this. Let's, let's, let's do some experiments here. Let's see. Now, you have to have a spark back device. I'll show you mine. It is right here. Right there. It's an inline spark back preventer. Very simple. It's just a, it's a very porous piece of plastic inside of there. The air comes through here. It's forced through the tiny holes in this plastic. If there's an explosion in this tube, the fire cannot go through those small holes. It's all detailed in Stan Meyer's patent of how he prevents spark back. It's very simple. Absolutely necessary. You will hurt yourself without one of these. So, there she is. Where is she? There she is. The micro torch. Let's zoom out. So you can see what's going on here. That's a very tiny flame. I mean, look at that flame. That flame is... That flame can't be more than a couple millimeters across. Extremely tiny. This thing is barely even hot. I can touch this. Incredible. But let's see what we can do. Right here, let's see, we've got a piece of shale right here, like the stone, yes. And on top of it is a piece of granite. Just any granite I found. I don't even know where this comes from, but it's granite. Now watch what we can do. You see that? Do you see what's happening here? This tiny little millimeter sized flame is literally melting the granite. Let me zoom in and see if you can see that. I know my ha my camera is a little bit shaky, but see that? Look at that. That's absolutely incredible. I swear on my life, this is really melting the granite. See see how it cools off when I take the flame away? Now let me cool off the uh this thing this thing will get hot when you burn things near it. The heat will transfer from there. This flame oh, see look, I burn myself. But the flame the flame itself is not that hot. It's very bizarre. See that little burn mark? That's how quickly it'll burn you. Now, what I want to do is put some water on here to keep keep it cool. Okay, now look. Let's do shale. Same stuff that you pave your uh, front walk with. What is that? A couple seconds it starts melting it? Look at this. Molten hot. You can weld a nail to this thing. I've done it. It takes a little while because this is a very small torch. But it will work. That's right, you can weld steel to stone. Have science explain that to me. I would like to understand how that works. Now this is all generated from water, people. Water. Here's your electrolyzer. Let me zoom back. Alright, this is the setup. Electrolyzer. Your, uh... Your gas prevent spark back preventer torch. That's it. Do not connect this torch directly to that. You will explode. You'll blow yourself up. I'll show you how much gas is coming out of here. Not that much. That's about it. See that? Incredible. That's about what it takes to make a small flame like that. Really incredible stuff. I'll have some more tests in the future as to exactly what you can do with this. Actually, let me show you he it heating up a piece of metal. Here it is. This is a regular resistor, power resistor. It's going to heat this uh, terminal, this lead up. And we can get this lead 
red hot molten hot it takes a little bit longer than you'd usually see in some other videos but that's because this is a very very small flame and if you can see that it's getting red hot there it goes 50 watts of power people this torch only uses 50 watts of electricity kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom in. Let's put it over here. This is getting really hot. Yeah, you can see it turning red there. I don't know if you can see that. Look. And like the rest of them, the byproduct from this flame is water. It's not that easy to see on this camera. This thing will melt glass, it'll melt metal, it'll melt stone. In fact, it melts stone easier than it melts metal. Uh, see that? Look, it instantaneously starts melting this piece of granite. That's amazing. Look at that. I can't even look at this thing. It's so bright. I don't know if the camera really picks that up. But this this little bright spot will it'll leave a burn mark like, you know, in your retina. Like when you look at the sun. It'll do that. That's how bright this is. I don't know if you can hear that noise, but I assume that's the sound of the sound of the granite vaporizing. How much temperature does it take to do that? I have no idea, but I would imagine it's high. You can burn a hole right through this rock, I bet. But I won't do it with this device. Where is it? Because it's not exactly meant for long-term use. But that's it. Hydrogen. Atomic hydrogen torch. Absolutely amazing stuff.